Okay, guys, uh, welcome everyone uh, to another forum of LA Web Forecast. As always, is a, a review of what happened between London and New York. Uh, the forecast is being uh, happening properly, and today, which is the 21st of November, we're gonna give you guys some ideas about what we see and how our bias come from. In the idea world, the most important things that I see on the market are the invalidation of the most bearish count in the case of the S&P. In other words, the S&P 500, this is not an importer anymore. So if it's going to keep going lower, it's going to do something like this. This is the DAX. But like I say in last night video, an extension to the upside is going to happen. All right? Now, why? Because this, the DAS hasn't reached the 50 back, but the S&P went to the 618. So either the DAX is going to do this and get into a double correction, and then if you add the S&P to the question, most likely then the S&P, if that's the case, is going to test 14.10, 14.8, and another double correction. I don't deny that as an area. Our system is bullish in one hour, bearish in four. So with that in mind, you do not deny the possibility of the double trade. You see what I mean, Isaac? You don't deny that possibility is real. Still, that possibility, it is real. Now, there is a smart way to look around. Right here, the S&P did a clear cut, five ways move of the lows. What those mean is that some extension, that this is not the top. Now, that doesn't mean that it needs to go to the 50 or the 618 before keep going higher, doesn't mean that neither. The S&P is famous, at least, at least in my book, not to doing those extensions. If you look here, it did five weeks, or right here it did five weeks, doesn't matter. Look, the extension doesn't even reach the 50 back. But it went to the extension to the upside. So what we are proposing is that based in the five ways of the S&P, we should get some sort of an extension. Now, the reaction or the strain in the extension is going to dictate one thing. Is going to dictate the four hour trend. And that's how you guys need to take it step by step. You cannot drop a conclusion now that is going to go to the 618 and then it put back. There is no guarantee of that. Any idea war? Now, He's going to do this and this. That's idea. Idea doesn't happen every, every day. Unless with the S&P. S&P is very tricky when it comes to corrections. Sometimes it does a did, did, did correction. Sometimes they are shadow. They are no, it's not as regular as it should be. But the conclusion is that some sort of risk on should take place. That's the conclusion. Some sort of risk on should continue in the near future after some correction right here. The move is well defined and it is in five ways. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I can get back, like I say, several times. Look, right here, it did a deep correction. Right here, I did a shadow. 
I can go back a hundred times. Look, a shadow, a shadow. I mean, he's famous for that. I mean, look, one, two, three, four, five, a, a regular correction. Then look how shadow this one is, how shadow this one is. So that's the S&P. But that's why what I'm looking at is the idea that more risk on should happen one way or the other. Now, knowing that, you get back to the U.S. dollar index. It's still, same as yesterday, either the top is in, it reached the 50 back, so the top can be in, or it's going to do a double trick correction also, one way or the other. Now, in the one hour U.S. dollar, I like the continuation lower. I like the continuation lower. And I want to mention here the idea that the euro didn't top the same date as the dollar or didn't bottom. Eventually, this is not a flag anymore. So it looks like either this one bottom here and this one bottom here. Now, the euro, as you guys see, as of right now, is showing a five-way swing of the lows. One, two, three, four, five. That's telling you that the euro is bullish. Why? Because from the euro here, there is two routes. Either it's going to do this and then become in seven swing. One, two, three, connect to one, two, three. Or the euro is going to do this. That's the one that I would like. And then do this. In order for this to happen, the dollar then needs to do a double nest right here. Otherwise, it's going to be the double zigzag. Why? Because then the dollar then, it did three, three, and it's going to do three more down here. And then the euro is going to do a pullback sometimes later on today or tomorrow to around 127.50, 70 area. And then from there, it's going to do another rally to the upside. This is the connector if that's the case. A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C, Y. Then it's going to go to around these areas, 81.15, 80.15. And the dollar is going to go to around 8.42, more or less. So in conclusion, what we see is we, su we see more in the near future, we see more risk arm, right? We see more risk of risk on in the near future. Now, I want to mention also to you guys, and I want to talk about here. Remember, the top can be in in the dollar, but we gotta take it step by step. As of right now, I believe, and like I say, that the target is 805. Let's see how we get to the 805 right there. I want to explain to you guys also this page right here as you guys know we are very we use a lot the cycles of the market in other words we like to know always in which trading cycle the market is and I wanna I put right here three pairs that I want you guys to to take a look at it. This is in red, the euro, in kind of brown, the US dollar index, and in black is the euro yen. Now, if you take a look, on September 17, 
or for team either either they here and there all these pair uh, all these pairs did make an important high or low all right uh, meaning that a psycho star right here now Oh, we know that if you take the, the euro yen, there is no issue between that. The the red eight B C no problem. The euro the dollar eight B C that's perfect. That's no issue, same days, everything. The only difference between both of them is that right here the dollar top due to the fact that pound was so weak and the yen is so weak, the dollar top a little bit behind. But at the end, you can call that everything, you know where we are in between those two. Now, the euro yen is very interesting. Everybody know the correlation between the euro yen and the euro dollar. Of course, there needs to be correlation. Now, the both bottom right here. And from here, the euro yen has a rally. It has the vacancy. So far, it has the vacancy. At the highs here, and it's almost ready to create a secondary top right here. So that gave me the idea that the cycle from that the cycle from the 13 of November is gonna end soon, either. In the in both of them, and there's some sort of win next should come. Now we understand that. Call it a diagonal, call it that whatever we want to call it, doesn't matter. Now look at the divergence in the euro yen. Onto that divergence is there. You need to consider a five-way move of the lows. Now. What, how are you going to compare the euro yen with the euro dollar? And that's the, that's the, that's the issue here. They, they trade together. They trade together. No problem. And look. They trade together. Now. What does the breaking in the euro yen of this high makes all right in order for that you gotta go a little bit bigger in time this is the one hour i guess you gotta move a little bit in like an eight hour Let's wait for the data right there. As you see, it's the same chart. Now, right here we got September 15, September, uh, October 22, and we got November 13. Now, The euro yen already went ahead of the euro yen already went ahead of the peak of the 17th or the 14th of September that the euro did. You can take back in data and see how many times they have trade different. And you see that no many. 
technically is the same charm. Right? So, eventually, when one thing happens, the other should follow. Now, from here, in the case of the euro yen, what do you have? A cycle? Call it that ended here. And then a cycle, a cycle, and a cycle. This cycle is in three weeks. This cycle is in flat, is in three weeks. But this is a five. So that gives me an idea that either the dollar bottom. And then the euro already bottom is going to start pressing after it put back. It's going to start, pre it's go they're going to keep going higher. Or that we are in the presence of a running flag right here. Now, you cannot get it. You cannot get it for these two. That's why we're going to bring, you guys understand what I mean right there, right? Either it's this one or if a running flat and then it's a running flat and then what's going to happen is that being a flat is going to make uh, the euro yen then goes here, less likable. Now, if we bring... Let me open, a, let me see how many I got open. Let's open here the dollar yen. Okay. If you understand Elio Wakes, you should no notice this. In the four hour charge of the dollar yen, this law happened on September 14. Now, what I'm trying to say is that if we add the RSI here, from this lows, no, let me see. Yeah, from that low right there, technically the dollar yen is showing one, two, three, four, five swings. But there is no divergency, which is telling me that in the most conservative count is going to do this. Or it can be one, two, one, two, and we are in the middle of the wave three to the outside. But the idea is that there is more outside. You see where I'm coming from, Greg, right? There is more Jane Winnix coming to the market near you. Now, if there is uh, I mean, if there is I mean in the if there is more Yen winners most likely when you go to the previous chart that we're showing here, that's telling me that most likely this is the count that that we're gonna see. In other words, 
that the euro yen is leading the euro dollar and that either is going to be like this which is the most aggressive or the euro dollar still is going to do a six a seven swing get back to 126 and it put back a strong to the outside that's why since the beginning I say that do not discount this idea and that's why in the small time frame getting back here and put all this together with the S&P five swing of the law I believe guys honestly that you guys need to be long risk with a tie stop and that the low in risk either can be in place but it worth the shot to getting back to discharge in but is that all right on the 60 minute chart it is possible that the euro can have doing a leading diagonal is gonna get weak and can it can sprout to the upside there is no risk at all to be long euro at this stage it's gonna get to 129 one way or the other and it got one two three four five swings in it it's in the less bearish <clears throat> bullish of the count in its sweet swing number six and number seven that's what is I believe that you guys should be doing is buying the euro in any pullback right now like I say hmm. there is no risk there should be more outside in the euro and looking at the overall picture I mean in the case of the euro, and I'm talking the euro is because the euro yen. By looking at everything, any weakness on the euro at this stage, I feel comfortable to say that it's viable. Either it's gonna go this route, or it's gonna go to 129, get to 126, sweep uh, the euro yen to around 123, but at the end, it's gonna explode. But 129, it seems like it's going to happen no matter what over the next four or five trading days. That's what I got to say. And that's the way I look at it. That the double size is possible in risk, absolutely. But you guys need to understand that because the combination on everything, the five-way move right here, we should get a continuation higher in risk together with a five weight uh, together with the five weights that we have in the the five swings let's put it like that that we have in the euro dollar any question Everybody understood the bios. That's the, the idea of these forums, guys, is explaining to you guys where, where, where we believe the market is going to go within the next 24, 48 hours. And we believe that a pullback in risk can be possible, but it should be continuation in risk, in our opinion. And if the euro goes over here without making extension from these levels to the outside guys you better buy it all right any question guys everybody understood the idea right you gotta buy the dip when the euro makes a dip you gotta buy it. When the dollar makes a recovery, you gotta sell it. Sell the dollar cat. I believe that Louis 
is going to send the order. No, you cannot, you cannot say yet that the correction is over here due to the fact that if we look at the biggest picture, a little bigger in time here, sorry, not this chart, this chart, you, the Euro Yen <clears throat> has made almost a 400 move pip to the outside. It should correct. It should correct. So that that give you that give you a still moment the possibility that for one twenty nine can go all the way to around one twenty six, one twenty five. It hasn't denied yet. The, the 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 idea that you guys should get is that in the small time frames right here any weakness in the euro should be bought that's the idea that you guys should get that any weakness any weakness without reaching 129 i give you the, the I tell you the truth it should be bought that's that's my idea why because you can see right here five swings one two three four five so either if it goes here like this is a better buy but even if it goes right here it's a buyer looking for 129 so more risk on should happen within the next 48 20 i mean there is a holiday in the middle but if you see the euro going slower it should be about it should be a buy do you get it i mean we cannot say yet that 126 25 won't happen we don't have confirmation of that we just let you guys know that you guys should buy any weakness in the euro. You understand it? That's, I mean, we gotta take it step by step, guys. It's a step by step thing. It's not like it's a sure thing yet. It's not. But sooner or later, it's going to become a, a sure thing. You need, to, you need to buy the dip in the euro. Hi, Rafi. You need to buy the dip in the euro and see where it comes from. Either a biggest dip right here or this dip you need to buy it if you guys see the one hour stochastic RSI going to the lows you need to buy it. all right now I got a question about the dollar yen one second let me see because I don't want to mess with this one okay this is the dollar yen bullish that's crazy it's gonna go it's gonna go to 87 85 no reason to be sure the dollar yen guys we've been telling that for a while it's either from here one two one two and Depends, uh, Rafi. I mean, we don't know. All I know is that I have five swing with no divergency. It has two route, either one, two, one, two, and this is a wave three taking place. 
then it won't it won't go that deep. It's gonna keep going higher until it reach at least eighty four before it pull back. Or if it's gonna go higher in a double zigzag, it is A B C W S A B C Y. Now I give you a hint based in feeble levels in based in feeble levels in a double zigzag you guys remember that when this cycle ended I say that it's gonna go to 80 79 88 it never reached it that target that I have was based on the three-way move 79 78 95 it never reached it but otherwise it reached the 50 percent but here this is very vertical so all i can tell you is that the next i mean uh same to you bruce all i can tell you is that it looks better as a nest that as a double zigzag lf uh how you call it, fever wise and there is no reason at all, no reason, zero, to be long the end. You cannot buy the end, no reason at all. Neither selling the euro yen, forget about the has run 500 picks, it's going to run 7.7. Seven. Well, if you're sure you are in, you are in the run in the big hole right there. I mean, to be honest with you, it looks better like a nest. One, two, one, two. This is vertical, guys. This is vertical. You get lucky if you get the doubles exact. But like I say, nest Y, it looks one, two, one, two. Perfect. If that's the, you won't get, it's going to keep going higher to around 84, and then it's going to make a pullback before going higher. Something like this. This pair is the bullish, this and the Euro Aussie and the bullish pairs in the market. No, don't sell this pair, guys. Don't sell it. Any other question, guys? We did a video. We did a video about three months ago for FSCN, and we said everything that is taking place. Now, great. If the euro, the dollar yen is in the nest. The euro yen, it won't stop for a while. You see what I mean? Because there is something funny here in the case of the euro yen. There is something funny here. And there is something funny here. And maybe... Now the euro dollar is going to join the party to the moon. You see what I mean? Oil, we bullish to 92, Rafi. As a first step, if you long oil, I believe you are in the right side of the market. Yeah, uh, for us, the cycle from the top ended in oil. And should trade higher at least to 92. If it hasn't confirmed yet that the correction from top ended. So 
that I take it step by step. Guys, sorry, I gotta do, I gotta go. I got the Spanish forum right now coming in in five minutes, and see you guys around like always. Uh, yeah, let's see if it makes a correction. I mean, holidays usually are contra train trades usually. Okay, guys, so see you around. Let me do the Spanish for Thank you, everyone.